Thank you for choosing Welch Allen's Eye Examiner. Before we begin demonstrating how to use the Eye Examiner, please be sure you have the following. An Apple iPhone with the Eye Examiner app installed. This can be downloaded from the Apple App Store. A Welch Allen Panoptic Ophthalmoscope. A charged power handle and the Eye Examiner adapter, which consists of two pieces, the bracket and the support arm. To begin, remove the power handle from the panoptic ophthalmoscope. Next, remove the rubber eyepiece and silver O-ring. Slide the support arm fully into the slot onto the eye examiner adapter. Position the ophthalmoscope into the eye examiner adapter by placing the base of the ophthalmoscope into the support arm. Then, firmly push the front of the adapter onto the eyepiece of the ophthalmoscope. Push and twist the power handle back onto the ophthalmoscope. To attach the Apple iPhone, first be sure to remove any protective covering or case. Slide the Apple iPhone into the adapter, being sure that it is fully inserted. You'll hear a click. Ensure that the iPhone camera lens lines up with the eyepiece of the ophthalmoscope. The following procedures are intended to guide you as you learn to use the eye examiner. First, attach your iPhone to the panoptic according to assembly instructions. Set the focus wheel on zero. Set aperture size on the large spot. Ensure the eye cup is secured firmly on the patient's side of the scope. Turn handle power to maximum brightness. Open the eye examiner app. Touch retinal image. Choose Right OD, which is the default selection, or Left OS. For this demonstration, we'll start with Right OD. To change settings, touch the Settings button in the lower left-hand corner of the capture screen. To change the delay in capturing images once the camera button is released, select the desired self-timer duration. We recommend setting it to zero. Next, you can set the duration of recording images by selecting the recording time duration. We recommend 5. Finally, set the resolution of the images by selecting the mode. Standard res is recommended. When you've completed your settings, touch the Done button. They will remain as the default settings unless you change them again. For best results, use the device in a dimly lit room and try to have the patient looking towards a dark or shaded area of the room. For viewing the patient's right eye, Grasp the support arm between your index and middle finger of your right hand and use your thumb to touch and hold the camera button on the iPhone screen. Don't remove your thumb until you're ready to take images. With your left hand, grasp the end of the scope nearest the patient eye cup between your thumb and index finger. Sit opposite the patient and hold the panoptic approximately four inches away from the patient. Position yourself at eye level with the patient and instruct the patient to look over your shoulder at something on the back wall. Direct the illumination into the patient's eye at a 15 to 20 degree angle on the temporal side. Find the patient's red retinal reflex on the screen. Once you see the red reflex, move slowly closer to the patient, keeping the reflex in the very center of the screen. If you find it hard to stay steady, you can rest your fingers on the patient's forehead. To achieve the maximum view, you'll need to completely depress the eye cup over the patient's eye. Once desired view is achieved, release your thumb from the camera button to capture multiple images of the fundus. Use the slider to select a frame from the exam. Pan and pinch to adjust the image as desired. Touch the arrow button on the lower left of the screen to add the image to a patient's file. Next, touch the list button and select the active area of each field to enter or change patient data. Use the iPhone keyboard to enter relevant patient information. Be sure to touch Done after each entry. Select Date of Birth and use the picker to enter the patient's date of birth. Touch Done. To add more images from the captured exam, simply touch Add Picture and select Images. You can also acquire new images by repeating the exam process. You can save up to three images for each eye. 
To capture a retinal image of the left eye, touch the Add Picture icon in the left OS section of the screen, then follow the same steps as before to capture an image. When patient file is complete, touch the arrow button on the lower left of the screen, then touch Save Patient File to save. If you have purchased the Eye Examiner Pro version, you can email or print the exam by touching the arrow button in the lower left of the screen and then selecting either Email or Print and following the on-screen prompts. The iPhone camera should do all the focusing for you, but if your image is not in focus, try the following. Check to see that the focus wheel is set at zero. Make sure you are keeping the red reflex centered on the screen, otherwise it may be focusing on a different part of the eye. If the image is still blurry, adjust the focus wheel to compensate for refractive error. If the view seems too small or narrow, make sure you have the large aperture selected. Be sure the eye examiner adapter is pushed into proper position on the panoptic and that you are fully compressing the eye cup over the patient's eye. If the image of the fundus is fleeting and you can't seem to hold it for more than a split second, practice holding the scope as steady as possible and rest your three free fingers on the forehead of the patient for stability. Make sure you follow a direct line into the patient's eye, maintaining the same plane, like a train on a track. If the image contains reflections or bright spots, dim the lights and avoid being near windows. Ideally, the patient should be looking into a darkened area. Turn down the rheostat on the handle. Make sure the eye cup is completely covering the patient's eye. If no light is coming from the scope, make sure the aperture switch is not stuck between apertures. Make sure your handle is charged and the rheostat is turned on. Remember that practice is the key to becoming proficient. With frequent use and repetition, you'll experience a rapid learning curve. Over time, we are confident the eye examiner will become one of your most powerful diagnostic tools.